Okay, welcome to SAT 3310, Scripting for Administration Automation. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Bash and working with web and network. So uh, some of the things I want to talk about are uh, some of these commands. Uh, these aren't necessarily Bash commands, but they are certainly uh, GNU commands that you can use. Things like curl, wget. It looks like curl was so important we listed it twice. Uh, talking about arrays in Bash, again, some more. Uh, DOS to Unix and Unix to DOS uh, commands. And then other commands that you can use to help uh, sift through data like cut, sort, unique. A little bit about uh, regex commands like set and awk. So looking at curl, uh, curl is just this uh, C URL. And basically it's, it's a nice uh, uh, command that you can use to go out and get um, information from websites using like FTP or HTTP. Uh, the nice thing about curl is that you can do things like specifying uh, uh, list or, or ranges within an URL. You see here we've got um, multiple sites or multiple files that it's, that it's looking for. Um, you can certainly use curl to uh, save the output of a file. Now, uh, something that you really need to be aware of when you're looking at these two commands, the first one is saving the output of the URL. So say, for example, the HTML output of an URL to a file. So curl-o and then some file name of a um, URL. If you want to actually download a file with curl, you have to use capital O, and in this case I give it the file name, and then with capital O it'll actually save that file name. So just be aware it's a very common mistake with, with curl. Here's some more curl examples. Um, a very useful one for, for this lab is going to be getting the HTTP header information. Uh, you get that with a curl capital I, and you can see here's some example output. Um, we've got the server response, the the date, the server type, um, and that's what we're going to be looking for is that that third line down there, that server colon. Um, curl doesn't have to be just HTTP; it can be lots of things. Uh, it is actually a very uh, powerful uh, tool to use. Uh, I think that's the exact same slide, <laughs> um, and that's this one actually has the uh, the the home page for for curl. Uh, a couple more uh, really good options for curl are the the silent. So this isn't going to show progress or any sort of error messages. Uh, it's great for using curl in a script. So curl s for silent. Uh, we already talked about the curl dash uh, capital I. Uh, this is for the headers only. That allows you to get just the header information and not worry about the rest of the information returned from the web page. Um, another thing when we're using curl for uh, scripting, you might want to do um, a fail silent. So if this is, you know, the curl is going to connect to a server and it's going to fail for some reason, you can have it fail silently. Uh, I, again, it's just, it's just better for the script because it's not going to produce extra output. Something else that I like to do with curl is give it a connection timeout. So if a server is being slow or is waiting and I don't feel like waiting for the server, you can give a connection timeout of, you know, maybe three or four or five seconds. An alternative to curl is the GNU ver, uh, program called wget. Now, w, wget is, um, all, again, it's, it's web and FTP and other protocols. Um, it's good for scripting. The, the basic um, syntax is get, you know, wget, give it some options, give it the URL. Um, so here's a, an, an example of wget. Um, we're doing um, 
uh, wget retrying to uh, a certain site there it's outputting to a log um, we can do wget with a continue command which is really nice if you're trying to get a large file and it seems to fail all the time uh, you can do a continue which will actually resume the download of a file from where it left off which is really handy uh, here is an example that i might use in a script you see i've got uh, wget and then um, maybe the URL and the file name and then I'm going to do a capital O to output that URL and file name to a local path and then use the same file name. So that's a that's an example uh, that might be handy to use in in the upcoming scripts. Uh, here again is just uh, some more information talking about arrays with bash. So these are some, uh, this is a good uh, uh, reference at website, uh, bashhackers.org. Um, so if you want to use the, the entire array, remember use the um, at symbol. So I've got an array called X and uh, you can see I'm, I'm using every single index by using the at symbol within the square brackets. And then the curly braces, or curly brackets um, is designating the array variable. So that's giving you the entire array. Here's an example where I want to just uh, use a portion of the array. And the way to do that is you say index number um, start and stop. So it's index number and then it's the length, but you have to you have to realize that it's actually the length minus one. Um, so if I said index four uh, and length of three, that would give me starting at index four, which is item number five in the array, up to, um, let's see, four, three, that would be seven. So it would be four, five, and six which is actually the length minus one. So it's not seven, it actually gives you item six. So it's item index four, item index five, item index six. Let's say you wanted to um, take the entire array uh, except for the very, or, or just the first number of items into the array, you could just, you could say index zero or just eliminate that zero. So it's just a colon, colon, and then the length. Um, you can also do it from a, so instead of from start to length, you can do from um, a certain index all the way to the end. So let's say you wanted the second half of the array, you could say index, you know, 15, and it would go all the way out to index, you know, say it's a, a 30 element array. Um, that would give you the second half of the array. Um, this is a, 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 a kind of a weird syntax, but if you wanted to remove the first element of the array, uh, you could say something like, um, uh, zero, or I'm sorry, you're starting at index one and all the way to the end. So the new array isn't index zero anymore all the way to the end. It starts at index one and goes all the way to the end, which would effectively remove index zero. So in this example, you see my array is one, two, three. I'm now echoing um, the entire array colon index, which then assumes index to the end of the array. So it's index item one and then all the way to the end, which would be two, three. 